afternoon or is it evening? It's evening now. Evening. Yes. Good evening. How are we doing? Welcome back to Crock Hill Park. Now this is just going to be a short video. Now I'm just introducing myself. Well, my name's Corin. I keep forgetting to do that. I don't want to just wear a big badge that says Corin on it so I don't have to introduce my, say what my name is because you know me by now anyway. Anyway if you've been watching this for a while you know that I'm not very confident with my irons or I haven't been in the past and so what we're going to do today is um, the reason why we thought about this video is I was playing yesterday with Kev Casper and Neil and I hit a shot which he said he'd never seen me hit before and, and Neil did suggest to me that it's something the viewers might actually like to see that you know what my confidence is, is getting up to now you can see behind me there's a big bush a big tree behind that is a green now if I was in this position normally I would do a, a bump and run hybrid out to the side and then uh, try and get to the green that way but I'm getting quite confident with my irons now especially my pitching wedge so this experiment is to show the yellow ball pitching wedge white ball my normal normal shot which one can I get to the green in which one can I save a shot so drop us a comment can I do hybrid pitching wedge let's have a go so you do your normal hybrid. I do my normal hybrid one first. To this side. So what I would do is I'd look and think, right, there's a gap there. Chances are I probably couldn't get the gap, but I would have a go at going through the gap there. So you just bump it down then, yeah? Yeah. And that's okay because you would end up with a shot at the green now. That's okay, you? I've got a shot at the green there, so yeah. So now. That's it. Right. So that's your pitching wedge. Yeah. And that's your hybrid. Yeah. So now shall we have a little wander? So it's got to find where the ball actually landed. I'll do it live, Colin. Do it live? Woo! I'll walk and just uh, give you sort of like some idea. Ooh, kicking the... Am I taking any more shots when I get down there? Um. Nah. I don't... Well, there's a vast difference, isn't there? Because we, we can measure this. Yeah. Um, really on our watches if you just if you get a yardage from this white one here coming we're not going to take any more shots but we can just just sort of like see here okay so I yeah. am now hang on let me just come back go on hole five I am 78 yards from the green yeah I didn't take a yardage from up there but we can we can go back and check that before we um, finish it off. yeah but I'm 78 yards from the green Well, I can, I can zoom in, I don't have to walk, do I? Lazy. I know I am. It's a long walk. Thirty two yards from the green. So, 68 minus 32 is 36. So that's 36 yards difference between just doing a bump and run and a pitching wedge. Now, if I've learnt anything while getting comfortable with my irons, it's just about committing. And Leo keeps saying, telling me, commit, 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 commit. And it is all about committing. And, and I do think you need to have a level of confidence in your irons because once you feel comfortable and comfortable with your irons it enables you to do shots like that now if you've been with us for a while you know I could never ever do shots like that and it's just a confidence thing but now I've got my new irons I love my new irons, I love my Mizunos and proof's in the pudding I mean I could, quite easily I could have duffed that shot again it could have gone in the bunker I could have took another three shots there to get in the hole and I reckon from where I was down there possibly two chip over into the hole so if you think about it where if you start thinking about your course management your shots if you're confident in taking your shots you could potentially sh shave one shot per hole off if you're a high handicapper so moral of the story 
confidence, commit. So I hope you enjoy that, just a little bit of a uh, insight into where I am in my game. Um, so I'm currently a 23 handicapper and I'm hoping that's going to start coming down a lot more now I'm getting more confident. So I hope you enjoyed that. Take care, uh, hit subscribe and like and we'll see you next time. Ciao for now.